Okay, so this is the help video for Greenland and Iceland. Um, before I start reading, I do want to go over this sheet for what we will need for this text. So it told us on the sheet that this is compare and contrast. And we have gone over compare and contrast, um, what graphic organizer works best with this text structure, what the signal words are, but let's just review it. Um, again, before we start this passage. So compare and contrast text structure talks about how two or more things are alike and different. The graphic organizer that works really well with this text structure is a Venn diagram where we could put the two things they're talking about over the circles and then put what they have in common in the middle with the differences out here. Signal words, remember these are words that scream out, hey, I'm talking about comparing or hey, I'm talking about contrasting here. So some of these words are compare, in contrast, however, alike, different, both, similar, likewise, on the other hand, as well as, same, also, between, but, on like and difference. And we, we did talk about many of these words in class and gave examples of how they would work with compare and contrast. Um, I'm not gonna do that now because that would take up a lot of time, but definitely consult these signal words as you are reading the text because you're gonna come across some of them. As you're reading it, or I'm gonna read it out loud to you, if you hear a signal word, underline or highlight it. We're going to need that a little bit later. All right, so let's start. It's called Greenland and Iceland, so I'm pretty sure they're going to be talking about how Greenland and Iceland are similar and different, given that it's the compare and contrast text structure. All right, Greenland and Iceland were settled by Vikings and have legendary tales about the origins of their names. However, you may be surprised by the differences between these two lands. I've already heard two signal words just in that paragraph. How Iceland got its name. In 867, a Viking named Flocky sailed from Norway, hoping to reach an island he'd heard about from another Viking who had landed there accidentally when his ship was blown off course. Tragically, Flocky's daughter drowned during the journey. The livestock he brought to the island died of starvation. As cold temperatures stretched into spring, Flocky climbed a mountain to look for signs that milder weather was on its way. Instead, he saw inlets filled with icebergs. He named the country Iceland after his icy view. Flocky was eager to return to Norway. He told everyone back home that Iceland was a terrible place and not to bother settling there. How Greenland got its name. The naming of Greenland is attributed to Viking Eric the Red. Eric was originally from Norway. However, in 960, when Eric was 10, his father was banished from Norway for having committed a number of crimes. Eric's family moved to Iceland, where despite Flocky's negative reviews, Vikings had been settling for nearly a hundred years. So in 867, Flocky came back to Norway and said Iceland's you know no place you want to be but in spite of that people went to Iceland and settled there and so in 960 Eric's family settled on Iceland. In, in 982 Eric himself was banished from Iceland for three years. Hmm. He sailed west for 900 nautical miles before reaching the coast of an icy island. On the southern tip of the island, he found a few spots with enough vegetation to support raising livestock. After three years, Eric returned to Iceland. He wanted to convince people to leave Iceland and settle on the new land he discovered. Unlike Flocky, he bragged about how great the island was and gave it a favorable name of Greenland. Are their names misleading? Despite its name, only 11% of Iceland is permanently covered by ice. Much of Iceland's landscape is grassy pastures and moss-covered lava rocks. It's possible that Flocky didn't see much of the greener land when he was in Iceland. 
On the other hand, more than 80% of Greenland is covered by a polar ice cap. Research suggests that Greenland's climate may have been warmer long ago. Thus, Greenland may have actually been greener when Eric the Red discovered it. But just to add in there, even when Eric the Red discovered it, it was still very icy. All right, we're going to flip over to the back. Directions say to read the passage, which we just did. Write down similarities and differences between these two lands. So what I want you to do is find two things that Greenland and Iceland have in common. Uh, think about the type of people who discovered them. Maybe think about what type of uh, geography they are. Um, and then something unique about Greenland that's different from Iceland, two things. And then two things about Iceland that are different from Greenland. Um, there's a lot to choose from in here. You could talk about um, what they look like. You could talk about how they were discovered. You could talk about their names. There's all sorts of things you can pull from the text to fill these in. All right, so we need at least three signal words. Remember, those are the words that scream out, hey, I'm comparing two things here, or hey, I'm contrasting two things here. Um, definitely consult your list. All four of the words that I found just in the first time I read through it do appear on this list. So you should be able to find three. And then the last um, thing we're doing is what was the author's purpose? Um, remember when we were filling out the charts in class a few weeks ago, we saved that box for last because we have to kind of pull from so many different things. Um, of course, we're going to start with the author wanted to inform us. So he wanted to educate us about something. So remember, think about your title. Think about the text structure because when you put those two things together, that's going to lead you to the author's purpose. All right, if you have any questions about this, you can send me a message in Google Classroom. Um, your parents can message me on Blooms, or you can send me an email, and I will get with, back with you as soon as I can.